Today, a deal to free the remaining hostages in Gaza coming into focus. Representatives from Israel, Egypt, the U.S., and Qatar reached a unified position yesterday to free more than 100 hostages, six of them Americans. A draft has been given to Hamas. The deal would impose a 60-day temporary truce in the Gaza Strip, while Hamas would release one Israeli hostage in exchange for every three Palestinian prisoners, according to people with knowledge of the discussions. And it would allow more humanitarian aid into Gaza. Hostage families worry their relatives won't survive long enough to see freedom. Every day that it's passing by, passing by, it's, it's, it's dangerous for them. It comes as the war continues to spread. This morning, dramatic video from the West Bank, where Israel says it raided a hospital to take out a Hamas terror cell. Three Palestinians were killed. Meanwhile, controversy deepens around UNRWA, the main UN agency in Gaza. At least 14 countries have halted funding after Israel accused 12 of its Gazan employees of taking part in or aiding Hamas's October 7 terror attacks. Two Israeli intelligence dossiers reviewed by NBC News accusing some staff of kidnapping hostages and procuring weapons for Hamas. Israel now saying 10% of the agency's staff belong to Hamas or Palestinian Islamic Jihad. NBC has not confirmed the allegations. Without financing, UNRWA says it may need to stop providing services to Palestinians across the Middle East as soon as next month. I do think it's important to remember that UNRWA does important work, and we shouldn't impugn uh, the good work of a whole agency uh, because of, uh, of the terrible, just terrible allegations. Certainly not, but does that create a trust issue and a credibility issue there? Well, it, it could very well, depending on what the investigation finds. A spokesman for Israel's government is hosting a press conference this afternoon to lay out the accusations against UNRWA in more detail. Hoda? All right, Matt, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.